How's it going everybody? Chaotic Bane here. Welcome back to another Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm currently on the Wolves server, the 6.0 server. They are running the Invader vs. Defender scenario. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I know they're hard at work at getting the 6.0 public um, playfields and that ready, so I'm not sure how long this little scenario will last. But in the meantime, I want to show you kind of what I have scrounged up as far as my existence on M32. I'm level 11, got 17 kills, 2 deaths. One death was actually me trying to die, if you remember in the last episode. This is the second part that I've gotten up. Um, I've been a little slow on it, I've been busy. But I am on M32. I've yet to join up with any major faction right now. As you can see, there's a mercenary faction, an invader faction, and two defender factions. But instead, I've gotten, I just got through getting some Promethean here, as you could tell. I found the OGG base over here just last night, which is their, looks like their little hangout. It is a PvE planet. And so, I started way over there at the invaders start base and uh, I kind of did like a circle around it looking for materials because I didn't have anything to even make a motorbike and in 6.0 that could be pretty tricky especially with radiation oxygen levels and things of that nature and so I did my little circle here all I found was copper and then magnesium and then I wandered this way which led to a little research outpost, which I think is actually over there. Sorry, it's going to get dark. Then OGG took over a farm nearby. I think it's right here, yeah. And so I felt like I was almost going to be up the creek without a paddle. And I wandered upon this elegant supply station, which is now missing parts because I have been slowly deconstructing it. And what is so valuable about this little supply station is that is an iron deposit right beneath it, which is what I needed. Promethean was the next thing I needed, so I took it apart a little bit. It's still got my core in it. I've still got a little, I guess, area I, you could say to use. I'll show you real quick before my food gets too low. I don't have the power on right now because I'm conserving any power I can... Um, keep my hands on pretty much I got all my doors open but as you can see here it's got you know sofa TV bed shower I took apart and so the main reason I'm taking all this apart is I've got something I want to try out and I'm quite interested in is since they do have oxygenated rooms per se I want to see how well an underwater base can do. As you can see on the horizon, I have dubbed it Underwater Hideout. I do apologize again for being so dark. Let's go in the cockpit view. Blindly drive. The research outpost, I'm still slowly taking apart as well because I'm using all the steel plates I could get out of it, but I ran out of multi-tool. So let me just kind of show you. I've gotten actually extremely used to this uh, invader start base and so what it's got in it, it's got two constructors that I'm utilizing and also an oxygen station and a medic station let's see if we can fly down here real quick go ahead and fill up on oxygen kind of show you it's pretty neat it said it was an enemy base last time now it's not showing it as enemy so we will see kind of acts wonky And so what I utilized here was the two constructors, which I have emptied out now because it was all of my goods and I'm bringing to my underwater base, and the medic and oxygen station, which are over here. We're going to go up to the fridge and see if we could uh, use some more of these foods before I start using my emergency rations. I've been su uh, surviving off of salamis which I've run out of right now because I've been trying to put together that little base down there which I'll go to show you. Go 
this way, go back down. Turn you back on. I've set up an oxygen generator and a hydrogen generator as well. I'm having trouble finding where to make the hydrogen fuel cells, which you might find silly. I'm sure I'm just overlooking it, but here is my underwater base. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. It may have been defunct already by somebody else, but I definitely want to try. Don't spoil it for me if you know if it won't work or what say you. So I'm going to turn you off because we're low on fuel. Turn on that light. And so my plan is, as you can see here, I've got two hangar doors which will allow my ship to drop in. Maybe. It should. Gatling guns don't look like they're too long. And I've got to finish filling in the gaps. So we're going to go down. We're going to turn it on. We've got some lights down there. And now, the only thing I'm a little worried about is this might be a little too ambitious because I'm not sure if it's going to remove all of this water effect. But it's definitely worth a shot. You use a shower underwater, it's pretty neat. And even the elevator serve a purpose, even if this doesn't work, I'm able to go up and down much faster than just swimming. I'm going to put a door here as well. You see my de uh, descent is quick. Show you what I've got on my armor. Multi-boost, oxygen boost, and an armor boost. I've actually got a couple things in my uh, small vessel I want to grab out that I forgot about. So we will take this apart and hopefully the thing won't come crushing down. Oh, I don't have any multi-tool. One thing at a time then. Let's go to our handy dandy constructor. Put the iron in it, crushed stones, steel plates, glass plates, and a metal component. Eat some more cactus. I need multi charges. We'll go ahead and make drill charges just to have on me. We're going to need steel blocks, but we'll do that in a second. I want at least two doors and an O2 station. I don't know if I set down a fridge in here yet, which, yeah, I did doesn't matter too much because I don't have a whole lot of fuel but I will get more fuel okay a food processor is what we need that should be alright for this for now so after that we're gonna go ahead and start making us another let's see if it could give me a hundred more steel blocks might not be able to, we shall see. I've kind of used up all of my other supplies. I'll show you my little walkways outside. That's pretty neat. It's already got a blue effect. And this is just if I need to go out here. These are open right now. They don't have anything covering them, which might be fine. I mean, we are underwater. There are only a certain amount of things you can do underwater, and shooting is not one of them. So an underwater base could play in many different benefits. The planet already doesn't have oxygen, so it's not like I'm using more oxygen down here. I do get cooler down here, but my comfort zone's just fine. If I needed to, I could add insulation. We're going to go grab these doors. No, not what I wanted to do. Door. Then it was oxygen station, food processor, and a hundred steel blocks. Okay. We'll see if we get canceled that other one. It's already got two doors. Cancel you. I've noticed a couple things being buggy, not with the server, but maybe sometimes I'm doing things a little too quick. So we're going to disassemble this block here after I reload. And 
Now I could do this one of two ways. I could put another elevator block with the door on top. I just need to get an elevator. I don't really feel like messing with the queue again. So I'm going to disassemble this one and hope it doesn't come back and down. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Let's cancel y'all. And let's go ahead and make some elevator blocks. Let's go ahead and do 15 to do the trick. Structural integrity still works the same as if you were not underwater. Like, um, you were on the surface. So I've had several hangar doors come crashing down. I've had numerous other things come crashing down. It's not like building in space. It's not like building a CV. So I'm really hope it, hoping that I am rewarded in the end with an airtight underwater labyrinth. I think it would be really neat. We're going to use this repair station. We'll start drowning for a second and get a little radiated, but that's alright. That's alright. It will be just fine. There we go. Alright, let's see how many you've made. I need to upgrade this to an advanced constructor. As you can see in my tech tree, I have focused on base as much as possible, small vessel as much as possible, and the miscellaneous and tools. As you can see here, I'm still having trouble finding hydrogen fuel packs, unless they took it away and I just did not notice. The only other tool I need is the multi-tool tier 2 that really speed up my process of doing things. set down a food processor then, O2 station, and we will put you next to the medic station. Food processor could go over here, just kind of want it turned a certain way, I don't really want the wire showing. Okay, let's take away structural integrity. What I'm going to want to do is something like this, but the question is, do I have a l that many blocks? I do. Okay, good, because it would have came crashing down again. And we're going to put a door like so. Now, I noticed in my single player that airtight false. Ah, that's why. Okay. So we will use these. Just get it to lay flat. Perfect. Well, you can kind of see what I'm going with here. Once I start getting my steel blocks in a little bit more airtight, I will show you the end result. It will be in the same episode, so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut out now, and I will see you guys, well, for y'all, in a couple seconds. Alright, guys, welcome back. So, I have discovered several things. As you can see, the water is still currently floating. But, this is not such a bad thing. I mean, I am still swimming awkwardly in a pool of oxygen. Take it for what you will. I think we will look at my little oxygen bar there. And it should not go down. But, the only problem is, I still have to wear my helmet. Or else I get the little red screen, as you can see. The handsome face of some stranger swimming without his helmet. I'll start to die. Yeah, there we go. But you see, we're still sitting at 611. So, I'm not using any of my personal oxygen. I'm using the oxygen in the base. As it, you saw, it just went down right when I clicked into it. We'll see if it does it again. So, I mean, this does still provide us with some useful things. You can't shoot under here, which keeps 
most of my belongings protected. This is a, obviously a PVE planet, but this is, you know, a test. I can make a little farm here on the outside. And I could see. I'm not sure what it's doing to my food. If I'm using more energy swimming around or not. But like I said, I'm still able to get a lot done. I can float up here to the top. I cannot park my SV in it. I'll show you. I'm sure you already know you can't drive SVs underwater anymore. They took that away. You used to be able to. But, I mean, I could turn it off. So if I technically make another hangar, I've got a floating boat that just sits here. Kind of neat. Still kind of neat. So I knew it was a little ambitious to hope that the water would be removed, which I don't see why they cannot be able to do that later as far as the development goes. I think they'll get to it. Even if they give us some sort of in-game pump or because if you see here on the edges there's a water line so they've got airtight blocks now all they have to do is give us a way to remove this water and put it over here if anybody's familiar with minecraft I've only played a little bit of it but you were able to pump water from one location put it in another now I know this is a little different because well water is a little bit more fluid in this it's not such as a block whereas in the other one you could pick up almost a square of water with a pan or a bucket so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna make either an underwater farm I probably still would make an underwater farm because as you can see all the things work plant grow light should work and so the only thing really exposed is your roof which actually provides a little bit better than digging into the side of a mountain so I hope this helps you guys out in your research and uh, hopefully some of your builds later and until next time guys chaotic vein out